Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Doodle Draw Art, and today we're going to do the three wise men in silhouette. I'm going to start off by drawing my horizon and showing where the moon will be because they're going to be walking across the moon. I'm hoping my camera focus is done wobbling, but I'm going to draw three ovals. This is the backs, the bodies of the three camels that the wise men are riding and we're going to draw the camel legs in two parts top of leg and bottom and I'm just going to adjust my horizon here because my camel's not floating alright so here's my wise man's head and he's wearing a cloak that comes over the back of the camel and he has a crown and then we can show the camel's head, which just scoops around and bumps out. The camel's neck is the distinguishing feature in the silhouette, and the way the chest comes a little bit forward here underneath the chin. Now for his legs, we're going to make a thicker part at the top and thinner part at the bottom and then the foot pointing forward. So wider top of leg, thinner bottom of leg, and foot pointing forward. The camel is walking, so his legs are all in slightly different poses. But you see their knees are very high and their ankles point backward here. And then we'll draw in the belly. And the wise man is going to be holding the reins, so we'll see just a little circle for his hand and then two lines for reins. Now we're going to do that two more times, starting with the head and the cloak and the legs. I'm just going in time lapse here. You've seen me do it once. You can always rewind for that first one if you need it slower. Thicker tops of legs, thinner bottoms, and the belly. And the last one, head and crown, cloak, and hand, legs, and head, ear, and the reins. Thicker top, thinner bottom, same every time. Silhouettes are nice to draw because they're really very basic. They don't need a lot of details. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fine line sharpie to outline all of these camels and wise men. And I'll be using my regular sharpie, my thicker point sharpie, to fill in with color. I did another silhouette of the manger scene nativity and in that one I used paint so this is the same principle only instead of using paint this time I'm using marker and crayon and I'm doing the marker first because crayon is waxy and if I do the background first I won't be able to get good coverage with my marker so here I've got all my outlines done and I'm going to switch now over to my thicker sharpie and fill in so I think I'll just erase these pencil lines first. I don't want to see I don't want to see those through afterward. And here we go. Just filling in neatly and carefully. I'm using fairly small strokes, gentle ones. I don't want it to bleed thickly through my paper, so I'm just trying to use a light pressure enough to color, but not so much that it's going to soak through the paper. It's good to have a Sharpie that's not going dry. There you have it. Those are the, the men, the three men in outline, in silhouette. And now we can start working on our background. So I have a black crayon and I'm just going to faintly cover the whole area behind the moon. And then I'm going to put some yellow on the moon, and then I'm going to cover it with gray. And I've just broken off a piece of my crayon so I could have it flatter on the edge. 
and now I'm putting their shadows and I'm filling in some gray in the foreground or actually it's black and now I'm going over it with brown to show that it's desert sand darkening up the sky with some more black and I'm adding in some purple and some blue and again some more black blending this in. I'm turning my paper. It's easier for me to work side to side than it is up and down. And I'm darkening up the shadows and filling in some more brown. And that's it. That's the three wise men on their journey to Bethlehem. I hope you enjoyed watching me draw this project today and I hope you drew one too. I'd love to see your work on Instagram. If you have an account there you could post a picture and tag me and of course please like this video make a little comment and if you haven't already done so I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a future project